slightly different video than you're used to from me. The last product review that I put together from uh, the 2018 Specialized Fat Boy um, was filmed in front of this wall and somebody had commented on this wall and was curious how I hung these and, and what products I used to, to get these to uh, be displayed in this way. If you have a number of number plates like I do, uh, you're probably either stapling them to an unfinished uh, portion of your home in, you know, or posting them, taping them to walls, or maybe you've just got them stacked up. Um, I want to display them a little bit more uh, neatly and elegantly, and so I uh, chose this system to uh, display them. Uh, I can't take credit for it. My wife actually found this system at IKEA and used it in um, uh, it to display art and uh, that's kind of what it was designed for um, but I kind of thought that it was something that could be um, easily um, used for for this particular display. All right I'm gonna hold this by hand uh, which will hopefully help zoom in a little bit on the anchoring system and exactly how this is attached to the wall. But again, I mentioned that this was something available for purchase at IKEA. Um, I'll show you uh, the exact packaging here in a little bit because I've got a couple of extras. But essentially, you have an anchoring system that goes into the wall on either side. So this anchor that you see is the same on both sides. And if I can pull this apart, which I cannot, you'll see that there are three screws that go into the wall that hold those corner anchors in place. The cable is then cut to length. Uh, I don't know the exact length that you get, but it comes with the package and there's more than enough cable on there. I usually have to cut you know, a good three or four feet off from the cable uh, to get this span. And this span is probably seven feet long. So it probably is close to 10 feet of cable in total. And then you buy these little hooks independently and one side hooks to the cable and the other side clips to whatever you want to hang. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's pretty simple as you can see uh, conceptually on how it works. Uh, there's a couple of tricks that I found when installing it that would be important to note. The first is um, that if you want an absolutely straight cable, which I did, you need to pull a very tight. And in order to pull very tight, you need to get these anchors uh, uh, in as securely into the wall as possible. So I actually used some drywall anchors, uh, some wall anchors, and then screwed into those. Um, the toggle anchors tend to work the best um, from what I've found and are going to allow that post to remain in place right where you want it to be. And then when you tighten this up, um, then it, those posts will stay. Otherwise, if you don't have those anchored real well, the posts will actually like tip as you're tightening it up. Um, so that's, um, that's an important piece. Um, I did not put a level to it. I just measured from the top of my ceiling and then measured each row down um, but I left myself enough room so that I can add a row at the top and add a row at the bottom yet uh, I probably um, yeah would fill the entire wall with two more rows and then I have to move on but I tend to do uh, I tend to race enough races to add about one row a year so that's a, that's a couple of years away yet before I've got to go on to my next my next row so anyway that's what I'm using to hang my uh, race plates. And if you find this interesting or have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.